Hey guys, welcome back to Questions with Zan. So we have quite the plethora of questions today, I must say. I asked you guys on Instagram what questions you have, and I literally have never been more shocked. I don't think, because like I thought the last few questions that you guys asked me in the last video were bad, but this one, it's like a whole different ball game. Plus there's like some really good like life questions, and I'm feeling in the Dr. Phil vibe right now, so let's let's get into it. Somebody asked, my favorite name my favorite name is probably xavier with an x now like, that was the name that i used to want when i was a kid because or no it was xavier or ty because when i was younger there was this kid named ty in digimon and i used to be really into digimon and pokemon and all that stuff so i think xavier or ty like if my name wasn't xander or xan or whatever you call me it would probably be that or that's what i would hope for favorite singer now my favorite singer is probably likey lee I think is her name. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it proper, but she had a song in Twilight. It's like, there's a possibility. But like right now, I've been really into, there's like a few songs, but I like those ones. There's a little bit, a possibility, money feelings die, and then there's a few other ones. Overall, she's got some really good music. The most expensive thing I own, I think the most expensive thing I own would probably be my phone. I don't own anything that's like really fancy. Or maybe my car, but honestly, I think my phone's worth more than my car. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay, next question. Somebody just said a haircut. Um, I did get a haircut. And the thing is, I always have like PTSD from getting haircuts because when I was younger and in high school, I used to have a TikTok account, as most people do, or musically or whatever you want to call it. I think it was still TikTok, but I got a haircut and. I got like mass amounts of people bullying me and it was absolutely bonkers. Like <laughs> when I first started social media, I had this thing where I was like, I, I cannot change the way I look like at all. But now it's like, it doesn't matter. Looks ain't it. Okay. Okay. Favorite snack from Guatemala. I think my favorite snack from Guatemala was probably this like these chips that you put into like a bowl and you can put like chamoy and then you put lime and some other stuff in it, but it's really good. Like I had that I think twice or three times and it was really good. And then there was another thing called like roast con leche, I think. That was really good too. And I didn't even get sick from eating that actually. And it was just from like a street vendor. So I'm happy about that because I had a really sensitive stomach the first little bit I got there and like everything I ate got me sick. And after that, I was like completely fine. So I'm happy about that. Somebody said do a camping vlog. Okay, I'm completely down to do a camping vlog, but the thing is I need people to go with. So I actually talked to my cousin a little while ago and I think I'll be going with him and some other people maybe possibly this summer. But like, as for now, it's winter y'all. You're not gonna catch me camping in this. It's like minus seven. Like I thought our water froze today, okay. Dream vacation. Somebody asked me, what is my dream vacation? That is a good question. I think my dream vacation is going to Switzerland or reliving my first travel experience. That would be nice. Like for the first time, not knowing a lot of the things that I know now. It's just like the first, like going for the first time is so much fun. And like doing your thing for the first time is so much fun. So like, I think that probably I would redo that. But like, as we all know, you can't go back in time, so. Okay, somebody somebody asked me, like, what do I do when I don't have a lot of energy? Now, for me, this is something that I really struggle with, and especially lately, I've been struggling with it a lot because I have no energy and I cannot sleep, so I think it's like, it's like a thing that's happening. But what I sometimes do is I go on the treadmill if I'm feeling up to that, and, like, maybe, like, caffeine doesn't really do anything for me. Like, it's just, like, a fine line now with caffeine. But yeah, I, I honestly, I don't know. So if you have any tips, let me know because you'd be helping a guy out. But like here's something that might work for you is try like drink some water and eat like a healthy meal or a healthy snack. Because honestly, like that does mostly help for me too. Like maybe you're just hungry or really tired. That might be it. Eat your vegetables, you guys. I know you don't want to hear it, but do it, okay? Like you got this, do it. Eat your vegetables. What is my dream car? My dream car is 
probably like a sick SUV, like an expensive one. Or if it's not an expensive one, just like a Mazda SUV. I want like a like a nice car that I can go up the mountains in or go anywhere in. Like I don't, I am not the type of person that likes fancy like cars or watches or jewelry. I don't care about any of that kind of stuff. I just want like something that's reliable, you know? But reliability is something that comes in scarcity nowadays, so. I don't know. It seems like everything just breaks. Am I, like, I, you know, like, I don't even think it's just my opinion. It seems like a lot of things just aren't built, like, very, very well. Very well. Do I hang out with Chase Keith? I don't hang out with Chase Keith. Because if I hung out with Chase Keith, I'd be hanging out with Carrington. But who knows? Who knows what's on the cards? Maybe one day. But as of now, I am Canadian, so I'm not in the States. <laughs> and I don't think I'm going to go to the States. I don't really have a want to. I kind of... I don't know. I really just don't know you guys. I, I kind of do my own thing. Like I don't really have many social media friends or anything like that. And like, I have like an issue kind of, I have like, I feel like I have not PTSD. I just feel like I kind of built a wall. I'm not going to lie with like certain social media people. Cause like I found like from when I first started, this is not a recent thing. When I first started, like there'd be people and they all know each other and they kind of like talk to each other. And I remember I had, like, actually was pretty close friends with one of these people. And I was, like, talking. They're like, oh, yeah, like, I already knew that. Like, this person told me that. I was like, like, what? Like, I, I really didn't understand how that all worked. But, like, I kind of just, I keep my mouth shut. I don't, I don't say anything to anybody. I'm just, I'm here. We're here. That's the vibe for this week is I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody asked me what are my current goals. Now, this is a good question. But my current goals as of now are to currently move out and mend some things with people that are like in my life because things just were, like have not been going as smooth as I'd like them to be. And I know damn well, like, like you can't just say that you're not the problem and that you haven't like messed up also. Cause I know that I have messed up also. And I know certain things are my fault, but like, I just feel like for me, my goal, like just my goal is to get out of here and travel and make some money because I think I need, like, I'm going to get a job, you guys. I think I've like realized like for me, like this is a job for where I am right now, like here living here. I can't make any money at the point that I'm at. Like if I'm in a different country, it's actually fairly easy for me to make money. But like, how would I know or how would I do that? Because I don't have visas. I just have a feeling it would be fairly easy. So I think like what I need to do is I need to move to my mom's house, get a job, and then I need to save money and then move. I think that's what I need to do. But it's just kind of hard, you know, like making the first steps really hard. And as for like patching things up with people, that is also very hard because no one wants to admit they're wrong, even though like honestly, in most of the situations, I know I am wrong and I am in the wrong. And I feel like that's something it's okay that I can admit. You know, like, you know when you're in the wrong. But it's just, like, it's very hard to talk about those things. Where for me, it's hard to be, like, open and stuff. It's just, a, it's a merry-go-round of stuff, you guys. Like, I think if you've been watching my other vlogs and stuff, you guys, fair, like, you're fairly, you know that, right? Like, I, like, I'm fairly open about stuff on here that's, like, basic. But when it goes to, like, my super personal life and stuff, and things that have actually happened with, like, social media things of importance that I cannot talk about. It's like, it kind of eats you up inside. Somebody asked me if I was into art growing up. No, I was really into art growing up. The thing was like, my art teacher was kind of weird, I think. Like, it was just a really weird vibe at the lady's house. Like she wasn't a bad person or anything, but I felt kind of off there. So like, actually mine, the snacks were very good. The snacks were, the snacks were popping. But other than that, like, I don't think so. I, I I was really into drawing and I wanted to be in a drawing, but like, it's just not my thing. For me, I always wanted to be a YouTuber and do stuff like that. And you know what's crazy? Like, you guys, I don't even like to talk. Like, that's the thing. I don't even like to hear myself. I don't like to watch myself. I don't like to do any of that. For some reason, this stuff just makes me happy. Like, doing this just makes me happy. And lately, I have not been watching 
any content. I have not been in any TV shows or anything like that. I literally will watch the same thing over and over and over. And right now it's Studio Ghibli or Gilmore Girls and stuff like that. But I am desperately waiting for summer because that is all I want right now is summer. And when winter comes, I better have enough money to get the hell out of here. I just don't know. Like if you guys have advice, advice for moving out and doing your own thing, other than like working and doing that, cause like I already know like that's part of it. Like what's your advice? Cause I know I asked this on TikTok, but I didn't get any help. But like if you guys have any advice in your, like in the comments, just let me know, okay? Join the conversation, even if you haven't moved out, if you have any helpful tips. Somebody asked where I'm from. I am from Canada, BC. Do I like living in Canada, BC? Yes, I like Canada, but the thing I don't like is the price of everything, because everywhere else I've been, it's been 10 times cheaper. And it's just like rural Canada, you know, because like the, the stores here gotta make money, so like I understand charging more. Like this is like $6, I think. Or like a loaf of bread, like an organic loaf of bread is like 15 bucks. It's pretty crazy if, like, if you think of it. But at the end of the day, it's like, it's a very nice place to live. Like you can look out your window like I am right now, and there's trees and mountains and like a river. And it's nice, like your dogs run around, there's chickens, like there's a lot of, it's like the country life, but it's like, there's a difference, there's a very fine line between American country and Canadian country. Like it's a very big difference. Like here, there's a bunch of hippies, and the States, I think it's the complete opposite, right? So I feel like there's a fine line between that stuff. I just had some soup, I'm feeling better. I, I literally have been so hungry lately, y'all. So hungry, okay. Um, somebody asked me what I get a piercing. I would get a piercing, but I think it really depends where. Cause a lot of people get like, like piercings here. And I would never get one of those. I think if I was to get a piercing, like ever, ever, like this is like, may, like, I don't know. It'd be like here or my ears pierced. I, other than that, I don't think I would get anything. Like it really just, I don't think it's my thing. and. I, as for tattoos, like nothing meaningful has happened yet. So maybe when it does one day, I will get one. But it really does depend, you guys. Like all that stuff is like, it just depends, you know? Like honestly, next place I travel to, I would be down to get a tattoo. Just because, okay, I'm not, I'm not explaining that here. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait because that's something that you guys need to wait to hear because it's, it's important to me and I don't want to talk about it right now. My favorite time of day, probably lunchtime, like around lunchtime. I think that's probably my favorite time of the day. Or used to be at least. Like I used to watch Gilmore Girls and had like a good time, but it, like lately it hasn't been, but it used to be that. Like that was, it was lunchtime. And now I'm not too sure when it is. But yeah, it was that. Are you a father? As we have seen the baby in your reels. I am not a father. That is my sister. <laughs> I am not a father. No, 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 no. We were actually in home hardware today and the lady's like, you could be a daddy yourself. I'm like, no, I couldn't. No, no thanks, I'll pass. I will disrespectfully pass, thank you though. Do I still have a car? I do still have a car. I don't drive it though, cause it's like past the point where I even want to. Like it needs a few things, but like once it has that, it should be decent. Like honestly, the interior, I freaking like my car. Like I like it, it's a, it's a decent car. I just don't wanna put money into it if I'm not gonna be working every single day and driving myself. So we'll see, I'm not too sure. Somebody asked me what's a weird craving I get sometimes. I think a weird craving I get is pears maybe. I don't know if it's a weird craving. Pears, it used to be pickles, but like I don't like pickles anymore. Today, I actually, like when I had the salad I was eating, I put white vinegar on it instead of salad dressing, and it was okay. It was okay, pretty bland, you know? I don't look forward to that. 